Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can put a VPN on your Apple TV. That's right, the Apple TV does not have VPN apps, but there is a way to use a VPN with your Apple TV. So let's jump into it so I can show you, and here we go. All right, so before we get started, let me first say, as I mentioned in the intro, that there are no VPN apps that will load up on your Apple TV. So in order to get a VPN to work on your Apple TV, you're going to need to load it onto your router. And so let me show you quickly how you can load a VPN on your router. So for today, I'm gonna use ExpressVPN and I'm gonna use my ASUS router. So let's jump into uh, my computer on my website so I can show you what the uh, how to get the uh, the VPN files that you need, and I'll also show you what it looks like loading them into the router. So here is the ExpressVPN website. It's just expressvpn.com. Once you're logged in, just go ahead and click over here where it says setup. And once you're logged in, you're gonna see all of this information here on the screen. You'll probably see an activation code and all this other stuff here. And you'll even see this tab right here that says router, but we're gonna go ahead and bypass that for the moment. We're just gonna go ahead and scroll down till we get to a section that says manual configuration. Now here we see it says manual configuration. You're also gonna see your activation code over again, over there again. We don't need that right now. What we wanna do is click where it says manual configuration. And now we're gonna go ahead and from here we're gonna see where it says setup and we're gonna see where it has a username and password. We're gonna need those later, but we're gonna scroll down till we can find the region of the, uh, of the VPN server that we want. We can see here there are different regions of the world. We have the Americas, Europe, uh, Asia Pacific, and Middle East and Africa. So you can choose whatever regions you want because I'm gonna choose for this one to, uh, to load up a UK VPN. I'm gonna go ahead and click Europe and then we're gonna scroll down here and I'll choose uh, East London. So we're gonna click that right there. And now it's gonna want me to download the file there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, create a new folder and I'm gonna call this Express VPN config files. There we go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click create and I'm gonna save it into that folder. So there we go. We have the folder, we have the file saved. We can see it is a uh, it is a dot OVPN file, which is what we want. And now what we want to do is log into our router. Now I have an ASUS router. Other people, uh, you may have different routers. You may have a Belkin router or you may have a router that comes directly from your ISP. If you have a, a router that comes directly from your ISP, it may not work for this. It depends if they let you load a VPN on there or not. Even your other routers, if you have a dedicated router like a Belkin router or a uh, you know another ASUS router or some of the uh, Netgears or whatever else, if you have a different router, you need to make sure it allows you to put a VPN on there. So, all right, I'm gonna jump in here because, well, mine lets me put a VPN on it. All right, so for the ASUS routers, I'm gonna go ahead and type this in to get into the router and that's going to be router.asus.com. I'm gonna go ahead and click that to get into the router. And if you see this, it just means that you need to go ahead and sign in, so let me sign in. And there we go, I am logged in to my router here. Now what I wanna do is I wanna come over here where it says VPN, and I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And now you can see over here where it says VPN server, and you can see where it says OpenVPN, IPsec, PPTP, and then you can see where it says VPN server, VPN client, and Instant Guard. We want VPN client. And we can see right there, now we're gonna go ahead right here where it says add profile, we're gonna click that there, and we're gonna change this from PPTP over to OpenVPN. And now right here where it says description, I downloaded the, uh, the East London uh, server um, from ExpressVPN. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give this a name of, uh, of ExpressVPN East London. Now there we have it, and that is just so I know which VPN server I'm connecting to when I decide to connect to it. Now I need to go ahead and put in the username and password for my VPN service. And so earlier where we saw the, v the uh, username and password section and um, on the ExpressVPN website, that's where we're gonna put that information in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over and grab it. So there we have it. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, click right here where it says copy to uh, clipboard. I'm gonna click that. And now I'm gonna come over here to back to my router page and I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, copy over or paste over my username. Now I'm gonna head back over to uh, over to the VPN, the ExpressVPN website so I can get the password. And I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this again right there. And now I'm gonna go back over and paste it into my router. 
And here we are, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in, and there we go. Now I am ready to, uh, to add the OpenVPN file. So right here it says choose file, I'm gonna click right there, and I'm gonna come right here where it says ExpressVPN config files, and I'm gonna grab that file, I'm just gonna click it and then open it up. And there we go, we can see there it shows that it has loaded up, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click upload, and it's complete, so we're good to go. Now all I need to do is just go ahead and click uh, OK, and there we go, it is loaded up and ready to use. So now all I have to do is just click on activate where it says connection, and I'm gonna click that, and then in a few moments over here, it's gonna have a blue check mark that's going to load up here. And you can see right there, it's uh, it's starting to spin up there. It'll take just a second, and there we have it. It's, there's the uh, blue check mark on this side where it says connection. It's gonna show deactivate because if I wanna turn it off, I just need to go ahead and deactivate it. Now, if I ever wanna get rid of this, I can just click the delete button and get rid of it. And if I did something wrong trying to load it up, I can go in here and edit it to get it uh, to get it back to, uh, to write so that I can have it load up. So, all right. But right now, it is active and we're using it. So now all I need to do is just simply head on over to my Apple TV, connect to this network, and then I'll be connected to through a UK server and I should be able to use my, uh, my various UK apps like the BBC iPlayer and other stuff like that. So let's head over to the Apple TV and, uh, and make sure all that is working as expected. All right, so here I am on my Apple TV, and now what I'm going to do is just go over and see if I can watch the BBC iPlayer, because, well, um, normally you can't watch it if you're not in the UK. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and it's going to load up there. We'll just give it a second to load up, and there we go. And let me just scroll down and see uh, what we might want to watch here. I'll try this. They look like some nice people there, so we'll click that. And I'm going to go ahead and click play. And I'll go ahead and click yes on there. And let's see if this is going to load up and start playing. Boom, just like that. Look at that, I am in the building. I am watching there. I can go ahead and hit pause. I can scrub through a bit. And there we go, we can watch and enjoy it just like that. It's just kind of awesome. Now, let's say that you didn't want to have your VPN on on your, uh, on your Apple TV all the time. So, um, you know, let's say that you were using that to watch something on here and then you want to go back and you want to watch just the regular old uh, Netflix or something else that uh, is only available in the US. Let's say you want to watch Peacock or something that's only available in the US. You can very easily uh, get rid of that get or turn off your VPN. What you can do is go into your um, go into your Asus router app and if you don't have it, you can do this. Now, not all, um, not all routers have this available, but Asus does. So you can go into the router app, you can go into settings, you can scroll down to where it says VPN clients, and then you'll see right there where it says ExpressVPN East London, and it's toggled on. All you have to do is simply toggle it off. You can see where it says applying settings. And once that's finished up there, boom, the VPN is now turned off, and if you wanna go watch something like Peacock, you can turn on Peacock, and just like that, you have access to Peacock, which is a US only app. So yeah, lots and lots of really, really cool things you can do with a VPN, and the uh, the Asus router makes it very easy, ExpressVPN makes it very easy to install it and use it, and uh, yeah, I have to say, if you haven't toyed with this, I highly recommend it. All right, so there you have it, that's it. That is how you can install a VPN on your Apple TV. It's very quick, it's very easy. Now you do need a VPN service that allows you to install it on a router, and you need a router that will allow you to install it uh, a VPN on it, and that's pretty much all you need. Now, I used ExpressVPN for this uh, for this demo. I also used an Asus router, but you can do this with other routers and with other VPN services. So if you don't have ExpressVPN or you don't have an Asus router, don't let that stop you. You can still do it. But if you don't have a VPN, definitely check out ExpressVPN. They are a very good service. I like them a lot. You can also check out the Asus router so that you can uh, so that you can get a router that uses a VPN if uh, that can allow a VPN as well if you don't have one already. So I'll leave links to everything down below in the video description so you can check them out. I'll also leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.
and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.